Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how to solve exponents on the TI-30XS Multiview Texas Instruments Calculator. To do this we'll be using the X squared key. It looks like this, located here. The caret key or exponent key that looks like this, located here. The negative key that looks like this, located down here and is important to note is different from the subtraction key. We want this one down here at the bottom. And finally the toggle key. That looks like this. Looks like arrows going left and right. Located here. To get started, if we just want to square a number, like say 5 squared, we start by entering the base, which is 5, and then hit the x squared key. See we have a 2 in the top right corner there in the exponent position, and we press enter, and we get the result of 25, which is correct. What if we want an exponent that isn't a square? Like say, for example, 5 cubed. Well, to do that, we use the caret key. So again, we start with the base of 5, hit the caret key there, you see our cursor moves up into the top right exponent position and then we enter our exponent which is 3 and press enter and we get a result of 125 which is correct. It's important to note if you're using this as part of a larger equation that your cursor stays in the exponent position until moved. So let's say we wanted to do 5 to the power of 3 plus 2. We would start that the same way we did before 5 for our base, caret 3. You see our cursor stays in the exponent position, so to bring it down, we hit the right arrow here. Our cursor has moved down to the main line, and then we can continue on with our equation, which was plus 2, enter, and there's our result for that. If we want to do negative exponents, we use the negative key. So for 5 to the power of negative 2, again, we use the caret key, starting with 5, exponent. And then since this is a negative number, we use the negative key first. See our negative sign there. Press 2, and enter. Now your calculator might give you a fraction like this initially. But if we want it in decimals, we can use the toggle key located here. So to switch this to a decimal, all we do is press this key, and we see 1 over 25 is equal to 0 0.04, which is correct. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.